sarahrolling.com. Really should uh, get some shades on, but here in sunny Bosnia at, I think it's like 9 in the morning. Um, just want to shoot a quick video to uh, keep up with stuff, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the proximity effect. So essentially the proximity effect is why our voices essentially get a bass boost when we get really close to any directional microphone. Um, it's key in terms of proximity effect to have a directional microphone. The directional microphone is obviously um, key because essentially what's happening is we need to correct for sound waves that go hit one side of the, so if you have the diaphragm here, they hit this side, but then they also bounce off the back and hit the other side. Um, so that intensity in terms of number of waves we need to correct for and then there's the inverse square law which essentially is if I'm further away from you the sound will get quieter by the time it reaches you so the further away you are the quieter the sound will be. Um, so it's quite simple in terms of those two aspects. Uh, so let's first cover I guess the frequency response correction and what that is is essentially the higher frequencies are actually more powerful than uh, lower frequencies, essentially because of the number of waves. So 500 hertz is about eight times less intense than 4,000 waves. So that's obviously just needing to be corrected. So essentially the higher the treble, sort of the very higher frequencies need to be reduced and we need to boost the kind of intensity of the lower frequencies so we have an even response in terms of that zero point on a polar pattern which is a point where even on any directional microphone you're not losing any sort of decibels um, or like getting coloration and frequencies uh, from rejection uh, which we can cover in another episode so when we have this boost so we have this set basically okay so all of the like lower frequencies are going to be boosted up and all the high frequencies are going to be taken down. Now, with the inverse square law, that means if I get close to a microphone, then it's the inverse law, essentially, I'm, I'm getting so close that I'm now, because of the correction, artificially boosting the lower frequencies. But I'm still reducing the treble frequencies, which is why we get a nice deep voice when we get close if I haven't peaked the uh, GoPro mic, of course. Um, and essentially that's it in terms of the proximity effect. Uh, so I'll link to another article that I've written on it already, which hopefully can give you uh, a bit more information. But do let me know if this video was kind of clear. I was trying to be as succinct as possible and keep these kind of under five minutes. And now you can have a look at more shots of Bosnia and this girl um, who's uh, scaring all the pigeons. And there's a guy who feeds them at the same time. I think she's getting scared of me now. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, more people can see it. If you want more daily content from sound, oh my god, it's just getting eaten. If you want more daily content, um, then you can of course uh, subscribe. Oh my god, they're just going insane. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I should still be in Bosnia tomorrow, and then I'm on to Croatia. So, it's gonna be thick. Okay, so 